got to stay cool. And I think it's something to remember, too, that it's going to be hotter on all of that asphalt and yeah. pavement out there than, for example, even if you were a young kid out on a, on a soccer field yeah. where there's more grass and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be a scorcher of a Saturday for all of the activities going around the area because the heat is peaking today and tomorrow. But there is relief on the way and it comes in a series of cold fronts. The first one in here on Sunday initially knocks down temperatures, brings us some scattered rain chances and a drop in humidity briefly, but then yet a stronger cold front will wait in the wake of that for Wednesday and then that could hopefully bring us some significant rain and an even bigger drop in temperatures and an even larger drop in humidity as well. So this hot stretch is coming Coming to an end. We just got to make it to Sunday. Basically, here's a live look outside right now. 93 is what it feels like officially here in Cincinnati. Here's a look at temperatures around the metro ranging from 96 in Westchester to 94 in Coleraine and Harrison 92 in Erlanger Burlington. So most of us are sitting between 90 and 95. These are our actual air temperatures 94 in Hillsboro, 93 in Springboro 92 over in Versailles. Now if you're looking for a silver lining in today's hot forecast it is the fact that humidity levels have dropped just a little bit. So the heat index today, not as significant. Well, it's basically what the actual air temperature is or within a couple of degrees of that. So heat indices, fortunately for us, have stayed below 100 this afternoon. Now, talking about how it looks above the Ohio Valley, you know what? You can clearly see it was a hot day with temperatures in the mid 90s for us again. That's where we peaked out at this afternoon. 95. That was the hottest day in two years for us here in Cincinnati. All right, here's future cast going to be quiet through the rest of the evening and a quiet and hot Saturday too. There may be a little more cloud cover out there, so I suspect today will probably be a degree or two hotter than tomorrow, but it's going to feel about the same. Also, there may be a slightly better chance for a straight downpour tomorrow. But again, I think it's really Sunday. You're going to have to wait till Sunday to get in on greater rain chances. And here comes that first cold front on Sunday. I don't think this front brings us a lot of rain. I think we're going to have to wait until Wednesday's front, but there will be the threat for some gusty storms with this front as it comes through Sunday afternoon. So do keep that in mind. Could have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. We're at 92 right now. Here's the dew point. You remember earlier in the week when it was resting in the mid 70s? So that's why it may feel just a hair cooler out there for us, if we can say that. 90 through about 8 o'clock, and then obviously another very warm night. We'll stay warm tonight. We'll only get down to a low of about 73. And then for tomorrow, 93. It will feel like it's about 95. Here's a look at your day planner. It will be awfully hot as early as lunchtime. So if you have plans on heading down to the Pride Parade or if you're going down to Great American tomorrow, be prepared to sweat it out because again, it will be a scorcher, but should be the last stretch of really the peak of the heat here in this last stretch of hot weather heading into next week. As you can see, Chris and Ashley temperatures, there's relief Monday and then even more coming for the second half. All right, Kevin, thank you so much. We're still ahead. Another brazen porch pirate caught in the act in Columbus. That's right, but this time he got a